ones, today we are talking about jewellery and for most people jewellery is very personal. Sometimes it can also be sentimental because jewellery can be given as gifts so there's a lot of memories involved. Before we get started, before I show you my jewellery collection, I just want to talk to you about two factors that you need to consider when it comes to jewellery. You need to find which type of metal suits your skin tone. For years and years I wore gold just because I thought that was the thing to do and that gold was the highest standard. And then about 10 years ago I switched over to silver and I'm a lot happier with silver because it actually blends in with my skin tone a bit more because I am actually cool in my base. All of my jewellery here is silver. I don't have any gold, I've gotten rid of it all. And another thing to consider is your proportions. So I'm actually quite fine boned and I find for me that smaller delicate pieces suit me better. So I tend to just have small pieces scattered around like my ears, my necklace and on my hands. I'm not really much of a maximalist and I prefer to just have the small simple pieces that are just very subtle. I'm talking from experience because I did actually try the whole big earring, big necklace thing and now I know why it never really worked for me. It's because my bone structure is just not large enough to be able to take those large scale pieces. All right, so I'll start with my rings. I prefer just gemstones and I match the color of the gemstone with my outfit and I just wear one ring on my right hand on my ring finger, most of the time it's my ring finger. So I'll just show you that collection now and then there's a wild one at the end. and it was given to me as a gift by my daughter for well, my birthday a few years ago. I just had some criteria that I wanted met. So I wanted it to look like a piece of jewellery, like a bracelet. I wanted it to have a little bit of bling in it and I wanted a traditional face and then preferably with a pearl face as well. And I got all of those specifications in this one piece of jewellery and I just love it. And because it is actually sentimental, it means so much to me. So now we're going to do earrings. When it comes to earrings, I do actually prefer them on the more delicate side. And I've figured out after a long time of experimenting that the type of earring that I prefer is the hoop. I just find that when I've actually got my hair, my glasses, say if I've got a necklace or even a scarf and a high neck, that big earrings and dramatic earrings is just too much. So I, I'm finding that if I ha keep everything really simple with the earrings, it then just provides really good background for the rest of the outfit. So every type of earring that I've got here to show you is a hoop earring. And during the times when we were wearing masks, I'm putting masks on and off. I actually lost a few earrings that didn't have the right backing. So I have found now to go for the earrings that go all the way around. And that just seems to work for me. So I know that it might seem a little bit boring, but all of the earrings that I've got are really a variation on the theme. <laughs> talking about necklaces. I have three of them and they were all gifts so they all mean a lot to me. I have been finding that as my necklines have been going higher so have my necklaces. 
So all three of my necklaces are just very short. I'll just show them to you now. My next category is bangles and bracelets. I only have one bangle. I really don't like things around my wrist. So I just have the one bangle and I will actually show the close up of it to you now. And just move it around a little bit. And I have one anklet. Now this is a bit of a wild card. My sister actually gave it to me as a gift. And I often say, and my girls laugh at me, it's my version of a tattoo. Now, brooches are really unexpected. They're not the piece of jewellery that you expect to find, and I have four of them. And they're just really fun, so I'll show them to you now. Last but not least, we have pearls. I have a pair of pearl earrings that were given to me as a gift from my sister for my 50th birthday. And I actually wear them with this string of pearls here. It's actually really, really long, but I just tie it around my neck. I don't really like the long look of pearls. I just don't really like anything dangling down. So I tend to just wear it short around my neck. And then I've also got another pair of pearls as well. jewellery collection please let me know which one of mine you like and please tell me your jewellery story because I'm very much aware that it is all very personal. If you like my content and you want to see more please like and subscribe and click on notifications and I look forward to seeing you next week when we're going to be looking at gloves that are classic, elegant and fun.